dominate the day That's what we're about to do If you don't wanna dominate Then this podcast ain't for you But if you are, then keep listening Cause every single damn day The mission is It's to dominate You already know We're here to dominate the day So if you wanna dominate Every day Then let's go, it's time to grow This is another episode of Dominate the day I get asked questions a lot regarding the best way to grow your business. And there's not a best way. There's multiple ways that you can go about growing your business. And there's things that you should be doing inside of your culture to grow your business. But there's definitely one thing that you can teach inside of your company to grow your home service business, whether it's pressure washing, junk removal, carpet cleaning, roofing, whatever it may be, ask to look for opportunities to upsell. It's funny. I was watching a documentary on Wells Fargo Bank. And if you guys remember back in the 2000 teens, 13, 14, 15, 16, there was a big scandal because Wells Fargo, their business practice was all based on the upsell. How many products could you get a customer to have. And in fact, back in the 80s, ITT, who was no longer around, but ITT did a study that proved that if you have if you have seven products with a client, that client is most likely to remain a customer for life. And in fact, that study was called Customer for Life. So ITT preached, and in fact, I was in Bank One's management training program, and they taught this because we had an ITT executive who came to Bank One um, at the C-level, and he was teaching this seven-to-one customer for life. So what does that mean for your home service business? Well, you look for ways to provide value, and you look for ways to provide value when crews are on site. Let me give you an example. So if you look at what you do as providing solutions, regardless of what the solution looks like, if you do, if if you view it as providing solutions, then you should be able to recommend solutions to solve their problems. So if you think of it from the perspective of a physician, go to see a physician, Uh, The physician does tests, and then they come back and say, I see this problem, I recommend this. Same thing for your business. You view the opportunities that exist, and then you present them to the customer in a way that shows you as solving the problem. So, I see that you have this problem, I recommend this. I see that you have black streaks on your shingles. If you're a pressure washing company, you're going to say, I recommend you have us clean your roof. If you're a roofer, you're going to say, I recommend you replace the roof. Um, and so on and so forth. If you're junk removal and you're removing something from the garage and you see that their backyard has clutter or a de- decrepit structure, I recommend you remove it. It's that simple. And what I further recommend is that you come up with a leave behind a sheet that describes what it is you did for them that day, what problems exist and how you can solve those problems. I've been using lawn care service uh, the past six years. And every time the lawn care company comes to our house, they perform the service and then they tell me all the problems that exist in my yard. Now, to be clear, I sold lawn care when I was 19, 20 years old and understand the lawn care industry pretty well. And if I didn't, I would probably look at those things and freak out because I really enjoy having a lawn that looks good. But if I didn't know the industry like I do, I would probably then not just only freak out, but call them and say, oh my God, can you fix this? And in fact, I still do that some because some of the things that they list that there's a problem, I want them to fix. Uh, If they see mold damage that maybe I didn't know, and I mean, in the Midwest, moles are ridiculous. They show up, you kill them, they come back, uh, and you kill them again, and on and on and on. So we're always fighting moles like like, like it's a scene in Caddyshack that continues over and over again. And so when they see mold damage, it's like, yeah, put the pellets in the ground, let's kill the moles. And the same way your business should be. You should show what it is you did, 
you should show problems that you see that you can solve and then how you can solve those problems and what the cost would be. Leaving those behind will help you increase your revenue, help you grow your business, it'll help you dominate the day. Dominate the day. That's what we're about to do. If you don't want to dominate, then this podcast ain't for you. But if you are, then keep listening. Because every single damn day, the mission is, it's to dominate. You already know. We're here to dominate the day. So if you want to dominate every day, then let's go. It's time to grow. This is another episode of Dominate the Day.